Before you even look at the vastness of the universe, have you ever stopped to look inside yourself? For over 1,400 years, the Quran has been telling us that our own bodies are filled with incredible signs and miracles. Allah says in the Quran, We will show them our signs in the horizons and within themselves until it becomes clear to them that it is the truth. Today, modern science is just beginning to uncover these truths. Let's start with your very own unique identifier, your fingerprints. In Surah al qayyimah when questioned about resurrection, Allah replies that He is able to perfectly reconstruct even the very tips of our fingers. Fast forward to the 19th century, and science confirms that no two people on earth share the same fingerprint. A fact, hinted at in the Quran, is now the foundation of modern forensics. How could a book from the 7th century know this? Now, consider the miracle of your own creation. The Quran describes the stages of embryonic development with breathtaking accuracy. In Surah al muminin it mentions our journey from a nutfa, a minute drop, to an alaka, something that clings, and then a mudja, a chewed-like lump. These descriptions perfectly match the scientific stages of the zygote implanting in the uterine wall and the somite stage of the embryo. This knowledge wasn't available until the invention of powerful microscopes centuries later. The Quranic order of creation is also precise. Bones are formed first, and then they are clothed with flesh. This is exactly what embryology teaches us today. Let's move to the brain, the command center of our body. The Quran speaks of the nasiya, the forelock or the front of the head, as being associated with lying and sinning, implying its role in decision-making and judgment. What does modern neuroscience say? The prefrontal cortex, located right behind your forehead, is responsible for planning, judgment, and executive functions. The correlation is truly astonishing. What about our skin? The Quran describes the punishment for disbelievers in the hereafter, mentioning that whenever their skins are roasted through, Allah will replace them with new skins so they may taste the punishment. Why the skin specifically? Science tells us that the vast majority of pain receptors are located in the skin. To feel continuous pain, the skin would have to be constantly regenerated. It's a chillingly accurate anatomical detail. From the unique pattern of your fingerprints to the complex stages of your development in the womb, and the intricate functions of your brain and skin, your body is a walking, talking miracle. These aren't just coincidences, they are powerful signs for those who reflect. The Quran is not just a book you read, it's a divine revelation that reads you, revealing the magnificent signs of the Creator within your very being. Thank you for watching.